Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, Close Combat Gateway to Con. I kind of picked this up. Um, I've been a big fan of the Close Combat series for probably since my inception. And um, today we're in the latest release of the series. Now, um, we're also going to be doing the Grand Campaign, Operation Epsom. And eh, what side do we want? What side do we want? I like the idea of playing as the allies just because it might be. I can't tell if that's going to be somewhat easier or somewhat more difficult. But. I guess we can play Axis. Why not? We'll have some. Uh, very light infantry divisions to start the game off with, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, we'll name this... There we go. It's going to take a little bit to generate the game. But yeah, I haven't actually played um, any of the more modern close combat games. The latest one I played was released in 2001, and um, it was known as The Invasion Normandy. And prior to that, there was... Oh, let me see if I can uh, scroll around. Can I use WASD? Yeah, I'd rather just use the map up here. It's going to be a little janky, but should be fine. So yeah, haven't played a uh, close combat game s probably since I got Windows 7. So I was probably in middle school at that point. It's been a few years, but I, I don't think too much has changed. It looks like the UI is very similar. Looks like the British here have... Um, very similar divisions, extremely similar divisions. Don't seem too well trained, but let's see what we've got. We've got Panzer Grenadiers, some 80 millimeter mortars, some Pack 40s. It looks like half tracks mixed in. Ooh, this, this is a very light brigade. This is a brigade. This isn't even a brigade. This is a regiment. Yeah. We have two sections of the 26th SS Panzer Grenadier Regiment of the 12th SS Panzer Division. Okay. What do we have over here? We have section 2 of... Oh, no, that's the 2nd Regiment. Wow. <laughs> and they have a bunch of Scots. Okay, that's what they're... Yeah, the Royal Scots Fusilier from the 15th Division? Looks like... Yeah, 15th Division. So, let's see. We can do Artillery Interdiction... Or artillery support. I'd rather have artillery support for my troops. Because I don't know what exactly artillery interdiction does. I want to say this Panzer um, regiment will be fine without artillery support. But these two guys definitely need it. They're a little low on manpower. Um, but we're going to be fighting a bunch of Brits here. Like most of the com um, close combat games I've played, you're fighting Americans the whole way through. And I guess we can give mortar support to our Panzer Regiment over here. Well, it looks like... Ooh, it's stormy and wet. Alright. So, uh, nobody moved anywhere because we're all engaged in combat. It looks like we're going to have reinforcements coming from uh, all different ways here. And we've got our first battle between 
the second section of the 26 Panzer Regiment, Panzer Grenadier Regiment from the 12th SS Panzer Division versus the 9th Cameronians from the 46th Brigade of the 15th Division. Let's get into it. Okay, what's the screen? Um, I'm choosing my units, it looks like. So these are companies. I guess these guys go here. These are just companies. These aren't. Okay. I want to say I, I read about this. Um, it introduced... Because of the level of battle we're at, a, we're a little bit larger than a regiment. I think we're at brigade level. Something like that. So we can field two extra units in our second platoon. And we get a certain number of support units. What kind of support units we got? A couple mortar sounds good. Ooh, we can get Kuba wagons? They have one... K98, it's a light truck. We can get flat guns, that's cool. Um, we have a couple pack 40s. We don't have too many anti-tank guns. We have heavy machine guns. So Schwer is MG42. It's a bit heavier. Um, it's mounted on a tripod. Um, it's not a... Uh, MG42 that would be held in a, a Panzer Grenadier squad. So I think, hmm, they probably have a Churchill, and I'm not sure our Pack 40 can get the job done, but it'll try. I don't want to bring the Panzer Jaegers because that's very limited amount of ammunition, and they're going to be virtually useless, and we need as much infantry as we can get. What's the map look like? Okay, so we have one road. It looks like we've got a hedgerow. Um, some heavy cornfields. Those might be useful. Uh, we have a big... It looks like a building right there. Um, to the uh, southwest of that marker. Might be a bunker. And then we have this heavily dense forest, but this all looks like open field up in here. That might not be too good to put troops in. We'll have to check it out once we get on the field. I don't think we're going to gain too much switching this around. Oh, oh game. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Wow, that sound effect hasn't changed. All right, so what do we got? What are we looking at? This is a... Does that mean there's good cover around here? Yeah, there's great cover. The cornfields give great cover. Okay. You can see in the bottom left of my screen right now what uh, the cover is looking like. The elevation type of terrain it is. Wow. Yeah, this is one big open field, though, for the rest of it. These trees give pretty good cover. Not much in between. Um, the road doesn't give good cover. Well, along the edge. Right along the edge. I think it does. Um, there's a muddy road. No one's going to be able to use that. We have a cornfield up here. And some field. Where are all my units? All right, so we have one mortar. I'm gonna put one mortar over here in this uh, dense patch. I guess we'll have another one behind this hedgerow. Oh, behind the hedgerow, there you go. Then we have a bunch of Panzer Grenadiers. Oh wait, the Pack 40. The Pack 40 can go in this dense patch. Oh, there you go. Also have our. Uh, Zug troop or leader squad. Uh, done a bunch of Panzer Grenadiers. So we'll put a pan couple Panzer Grenadiers up here in this field, cover it. 
Um, let's go into the field and see what kind of cover we've got over here. Because we have this corn field, but they can easily crawl up straight through here. So this gray area in between our deployment zones is kind of like no man's land in a way. Um, because you don't want to deploy your troops right next to each other. Yeah, there's no cover out here. So, um, they have very limited amount of cover up here, though. So I can put a couple Panzer Grenadier squads up here. I guess we'll put one in this field just to be safe. Put the Zug troop in the bunker. I think we'll just put a Panzer Grenadier regiment or squad right there. And we'll have a couple here in the hedgerow. Kind of have a front line and then a back line kind of defense going on. I like that. Let's go for it. And I guess there's nothing much else. Um, maybe I can set these guys to ambush. Yeah. There you go. Anyone coming from that direction. I want you guys to be here on the edge of the cornfield and defend in that direction. We might be able to sneak you up to the edge of the cornfield, which would be nice. These guys are already on the edge. And these guys are back here. We could put them. No, I don't I don't want to put them in the trees. Sounds like a bad idea. They'll be defending this direction for the most part. Where's the pack? Pack 40's in here. There we go. I'll have it right on the edge. They'll be ready to fire straight into their uh, deploy zone in case they have any tanks. It's one of our mortar crews. That's another mortar crew. Panzer Grenadiers. We have the Zug Troop. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Let's get started. This is probably going to end up being a, a two-part battle, from what I can tell, considering I've already rambled on for almost 20 minutes. Nope, what's that? Enemy spotted. What enemy? What is that? Is that a burn crew? Oh, what? Oh, the scroll wheel selects units. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. that that's got to be a rifle section. Um, where are you? Mm, I want the closer one. I want you to go ahead and fire. 260 meters. It's not too bad. Alright. If I read properly in the manual, it also said... It's going to take a while before the mortar actually hones in on its target. However, we do know there's infantry in this area. This is a very slow paced game. Newly dug foxholes. Okay, so we have foxholes. That's nice. They're actually facing the right direction. It's incredible. Okay. Ooh, we can see the uh, mortar is aiming currently. Ooh, they have another infantry section. That's a Bren section right there. Ooh, ooh, we got one. <laughs> you see him right there? He's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's a Bren section. All right, we're firing. I wonder who took that shot. Which one of you took that shot? You fired. Which unit is this? You guys took the shot. Wow. Ooh, we got one. There we go. Ooh, I think that might have been another one. Yeah, these guys are firing. Yeah, we're getting them all. That's incredible. Okay. That was a good uh, salvo. It's time we relocate the mortar. Oop. 
That's my pack 40 spotted. Haven't seen anything yet. Oop, someone died somewhere. Is that one of my guys? No, that was not one of my guys. Oh no, it's the pack crew. Did they hit, who else did they hit? Oop, someone's dying. It's not these guys. Wow. I'm looking for a dead crew. I'm gonna outline these soldiers in black at the end of this video. Okay, none of our men have died yet. We have one man in this pack 40 down here in the bottom right. It's very small, but you can see that orange head. That means he's uh, critically wounded or unconscious. Oop, they're firing at us back here. Oop, someone died. Oop. Is that another one of these guys? I think that was that guy was on the road. Alright. Open fire. Open fire, guys. Open fire. There we go. Alright, here we go. We got combat now. British are losing a lot of troops. What else have they got? That's their... Okay, that's a Churchill. Um, 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 um. I need my pack. Oh, no, it's blocked by the tree line. No, it's not. There we go. Uh, I heard some British troops there saying uh, they're pinned down. Uh, we lost one guy in this Panzer Grenadier squad. Um... How are other squads doing? Can't see. Guys on con. Well, some guy's panicking. You can tell by the black on the yellow background. He might be in shell shock from one of the mortar rounds or a hand grenade. Um, another guy in shell shock. One guy dead. Where is this Panzer Grenadier? Up here. Okay. Yeah, they're shelling us pretty good now. Uh, one guy dead here. Yeah, they got a lot of troops in this field. Let's get the let's get the mortar set up and firing. I want you guys over there in that tree line, and I want this mortar to fire in this part of the tree line. It looks like they're crawling us, crawling up on us. We killed quite a few. Ooh, there's another. That Bren section's moving into this field. Don't know how to feel about that. That Churchill is still like right there. Whoa. That landed somewhat close. Let's see if we can't take up that Churchill. Get a good shot on it. That's one shell. We are missing one guy out of this crew. Okay, our mortar shells are starting to land, it looks like. Ooh, there goes that Churchill. Yeah, that Churchill is destroyed. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that whole crew is virtually... Yeah, they're under a lot of a lot of heavy fire. How are these guys? Most of them are dead, but we are taking out those men that are assailing them. Um... I don't feel comfortable moving this squad up here in the top right um, into this tree line. We're just going to have to deal with um, our troops. Ooh, someone surrendered. Ooh, that Brent section surrendered. Oop, there goes one guy. He got killed by a grenade. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're, in, he's been shot. His four friends in his squad are dead. He's. I. I don't blame him for cowering. Um, that Grant Werfer. Yeah, they're still under. 
Ooh, looks like we had a guy surrender from this burn section. It's awesome. Uh, we lost one guy, and one other guy is panicking. It seems uh, he got... Mm -hmm, he didn't die. Uh, these guys have lost a few men. Wow, they're rushing in. A lot of troops here. Can I see what kind of weaponry we have in this unit? Maybe. <laughs> the rifleman's getting a good good number of kills. Let's see. British have lost a lot of troop, but uh, you know they've lost that that many men. We're gonna move these guys quickly. They got a 60 meter sprint. Because we gotta give this squad support. I need more fire, mortar fire, here in this field. So we got 20 seconds worth of aiming. Okay. Danger close. They requested truce. Now I want to see if we can drive them off the battle map. Uh, we might not be able to though. There's a squad. Uh, they've already got wounded men. The squad. They can't see anything. Let's see if we move them up to the edge of this road. We might be able to see down the road. To that platoon HQ, in fact. Yeah, we've hardly lost any troops. It's very, very awesome. Their mortars might have run out of ammunition, but it looks like both of our mortars are firing. Ooh, did you guys lose someone? No. Oh! We won! <laughs> yes! Alright, we won the first battle, everyone. Um, that's... We're not going to wrap up the episode yet. This is the first episode. We can make it a little longer. I can put an end on the timer, though. Okay. The Allied morale broke. Axis captured some ground. Uh, we gained control of the entire area. The Allied battle group retreated off the strategic map and must regroup overnight. Okay. Let's look at the losses. So, these are Allied losses up here. So we killed 10 infantrymen, we wounded 17 infantrymen, and 5 squad leaders. Could have possibly been a lieutenant. And we captured an infantryman. We also destroyed a piece of armor. In total, one of our officers was killed, probably a sergeant. Probably that sergeant from that first group in the cornfield. Um, from that squad that was entirely wiped out. And we lost four men killed. We had seven infantrymen wounded and two squad leaders wounded. That's not that bad. That was probably... That could have been one of the men from the uh, mortar team. And from one of the other Panzer Grenadier squads. Or it could have been the squad leader on the pack 40 because we didn't lose anyone from that crew either. And then nobody was captured, nothing was destroyed. Let's see how our, how our men did. So this is our Zug group, the unit that was in the bunker. Um, let's see if I can... Wow. <laughs> yeah. This was... This had to have been the um, pack gun. No. He's just a loader. He's the loader for the machine gun. But the machine gunner got wounded, so he, the loader picked up the machine gun and started firing the machine gun. <laughs> All right. That's good. That's good. I think this was in that second squad in the cornfield, behind that first one that was wiped out. Um... Who are these guys? They didn't get that many kills. But, um...
This could have been one of the groups in the cornfield in the top of the map, or the one squad that was on the left. Oh, this guy. This was our leader that got killed in action. Um, this machine gunner. <laughs> four whole kills. Wow. And then one of these guys wounded a soldier and the other took him out. Uh, half a kill here. I think this was in one of the squads in the far back. Um, and this probably was the other squad in the far back on the far right. This was that unit in the front. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's see, how many kills did they get? Uh, three, they got eight whole kills. And only four men died. Um, five men were wounded. Okay, fair enough. I'm trying to think. This must have been in the crew that I moved up at the very end. And this was probably one of the crews in the far back. How did our mortars do? We got two kills with that mortar. We got four kills with this mortar. And this crew was mostly heavily wounded. And then the pack. Oh, one of the men was firing with his... Um, K98 at the infantry and he cut, he killed three men and he was also the one who aimed the shot that took out the uh, Churchill awesome we can check out the opponents if we want uh, why not looks like one of these guys got a I don't want to say that's Victoria Cross I'm not sure <laughs> he had a Sten though um what was this? This was a mortar crew. They got two kills. I think they got those two kills on... No, this isn't a mortar section. This is a pit section. No, it's not. That is a mortar. That's a, that's like a hand mortar. Not sure which men he killed. Piet didn't do anything. It's a catapult launched like grenade and both of them died. Oh, no, that's not Victoria Cross. Okay, that's their uh, wounded. That's the equivalent of a Purple Heart, I believe. Um, that rifle section completely destroyed. This rifle section was one of the ones in the road, I believe. I'm surprised that Bren gun didn't do a whole lot. This one was mostly destroyed. Uh, these guys... I remember seeing four guys in the field just to the west of the position of those two Panzer Grenadier squads. This had to have been them. That guy surrendered. Wow. <laughs> and then that unit was destroyed. The mortar crews got out fine with a fair number of kills too. Um, and the Churchill was completely destroyed. None of the crewmen died, though. So that's good. Well, they're probably all veterans now, actually, now that I think about it. But, yeah, that, that was the battle of the fontenay Con Road. So in the next video, it looks like we're going to be doing the Battle of Casino. Let's hope it goes well. And I will see everybody in the next video, but so long for now.